Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I am going to be talking to you guys about how I school the horses and what kind of jump training I would do during the week before a show. So now I know there is no shows on at the moment but we are going schooling on Sunday at like our showgrounds. So I'm basically going to pretend that that's a show and I'm gonna you know prepare as if it was and then I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna set up a course and then just jump a course as if I was at a show to try and keep it as realistic as possible I suppose. So I won't be talking you through what I do every day but this is what jump training I do before a show. So during the week I only jump them once during the week at home and then once at the show so they're only jumped like around twice a week and when I jump them at home I always do grid work well majority of the time I do grid work. Cal, you're making a lot of noise. Thank you. So what I do is when I'm jumping at home, I do grid work to improve their technique, you know, make them more careful, help them make a better shape over the jump and everything like that. Um, I don't do a lot of jumping courses at home for two reasons. One is because my arena, like it is big, but it isn't huge and it is quite hard to set up a proper course. And the second reason is because everything that you need to practice in a course like distances dog legs turn backs everything like that i think you can practice using poles so i instead of jumping a course i set out a course of poles and then i jump around that i make sure i get on my strides i make sure i hit every pole right i then practice adding or taking out strides try different lines etc etc this means that you can really practice all the the itty bitty things, you know, the rideability, everything like that. And you don't actually need to jump a single fence. And it just saves your horse's legs. It saves them getting bored, everything like that. So I think this is a really good way of doing things. So yeah, today I'm going to be jumping Cal and we're going to be doing a grid with him. And then tomorrow I'm just, go I'm going to be jumping Dally. So I'm going to put them both into this video so it's a bit easier. <laughs> So first I will talk you through the grid that I'm doing with Cal. So this is a super simple grid. I did it a lot in my lessons that I got in Dublin with Taylor Vard. Um, I did them with both Fiona, a lot with Fiona, and then we also did it with Cal when I had some lessons with him. So I'll show you now. It is a trot pull to a cross pull and then a one stride to a vertical. And the vertical has a canter pull before and after the jump. So the aim of this is to get your horse um, making a really good shape over the jump because they have to take off and land quite close to the jump. It means they have to jump quite round. And um, this was especially um, important with Fiona because she had such a long stride. She really found it hard to get up and around. She loves to take the big long strides. And then also important with Cal because Cal again has a very, very long stride, although he is a lot more athletic than Fiona and he finds it a lot easier to get up and around the jump. It's still good to practice this and I find that he is very careful after we do it and he's just making a better shape. Um, the, the other thing that I work on with this grid is my own position because um, it's very important not to tip forward or lean too much forward over the exercise because you're, the whole point of it is to teach the horse to sit up and jump away from the jump. So if you lie on their neck, you're completely <laughs> defeating the purpose. And that is a little bit of a bad habit that I have is sometimes I just tip forward a little bit too much, um, whereas I need to keep my body much more upright. So during, so today when I'm doing this, I'm gonna be really focusing on keeping my body really, really upright, especially when they're smaller. You don't really need to put your body forward into much of a jumping position when the jumps are quite small. So yeah, you only have to really give your reins and go with the movement a little bit. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with Cal. I think I'm also going to do this with Dali. I don't think I've done this exact exercise with him before, but I feel like it's gonna be really beneficial for him because he also needs to learn to really sit up in front of the jump and get really round over it. Um, this is just gonna help him with his technique, especially his front end. As he's a younger horse, he hasn't really learned how to use himself the best way possible. He is definitely getting a lot better, but you just need these kind of grids to teach them and help them understand the best way to use their body. So without further ado, I'm going to go and tack up Cal now. Hopefully the rain keeps off so that I can get a video. Um, and yeah, and I'm also using my new painted poles. How exciting. <laughs> um, I painted some of the poles. Um, I said I was gonna do a video on it, but I actually didn't end up filming it. I'm sorry, guys. 
I was just kind of like, I don't know, I didn't feel motivated to film, um, but then I really enjoyed just painting it and having no pressure to like set up cameras and set up time lasses and tripods and blah, blah, blah. So I'm sorry about that, but um, probably would have been a bit boring anyway. Um, so yeah, this is my first time jumping over the new poles. How exciting. <laughs> So I'm here with Cal now. I thought it's always good to just tell you about the horses in case you're a new follower. So this is Cal. He is six years old and he's jumped up to one meter 20 at the end of last year. Obviously there's no shows this year, so he hasn't done much, but um, yeah, that's kind of the level that he's at. So if you want to watch our schooling uh, video from last week, I'll leave a link here so you can watch him go and see what kind of level that he's at. So he's done this, this uh, grid quite a few times. So this will be the more experienced version. And then tomorrow on Dali, Dali has never done it before. So we'll show you how we kind of start them off at, with it and we don't kind of push them too much. So that's it. I'm gonna get on him now and get tacked up. There's like a tractor going on. So he's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Good boy.
guys, so it started lashing rain and now I'm all wet. <laughs> but luckily we were, we were just done in time for the rain. Um, although I did have to trot him and walk him off in the rain, but that's all right. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. So yeah, we jumped him over the grid and he was <laughs> extremely careful over the very first one. He was like, boom, um, right into the air, uh, which was great. And then we just kept working on it and um, it's kind of hard to explain because he didn't actually knock any, but I could feel the difference, but I don't know if you could see it, but um, basically he was doing it very well. Um, well, he was clearing the fences, but he was finding it a little bit hard. He was getting in quite deep. Um, I found it really, really hard to sit up actually, because he's kind of throwing funny jumps to the cross pull. Um, but then as it went on and as we put up the fence to really challenge him and make him like, putting up the fence kind of forces him to change the way he jumps because although he can jump long and just get out of the way and like he can clear it when it's lower, when it's bigger, he's forced to really compact his stride and sit up. Um, and the last two times were perfect. Well, they felt really, really good. Um, he landed, he shortened his stride in a slow way. So he took the stride, but it felt like he thought about it. You know, he, like, he took the stride, sat up and then jumped and jumped really, really round. Um, well, that's how it felt anyway. <laughs> Hopefully that's what it looks like. But yeah, although I don't know, they might all look the same, but it felt very, very different. Those last two times felt perfect exactly how I want him to jump really really round I was trying my hardest to sit up um but yeah absolutely delighted with how he jumped I'm very very excited to jump him on Sunday I feel like he's going to be really careful we're making really good shapes um and this also really helps us for doubles because he jumps in quite strong into doubles he's very brave and he has a big stride so this teaches him that even if he gets a big long stride into a double he's able to sit back for that second part and jump over nice and careful so this has really really taught him how to use his body very well um, and i've noticed a huge difference in doubles since i started doing this grid so yes rant over well it wasn't really a rant was it i hope you learned something so next clip you'll see will be Dali, the four-year-old, and then his approach to it. Hey guys, so it is now the next part of the video with the lovely Dali. Um, I have him in and we are about to jump the grid. I have made a small change in that I now have V-poles on the second part. This is a really good option just to really encourage the horse to make a good shape and to um, help them be better in front, like a better front leg technique. So that's why I have them on for him, just to really help him and also will help with straightness and encourage him to the center of the fence. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so that is the plan with him. I'm gonna give him a warm up and then I'll get my dad to help me with jumping and to film. So he's never done this exercise before. So I have it really, really small to start. And then, yeah, we'll just work up from there keep his confidence while also helping his technique. Well, he's like pressing on my head. What is wrong with you? Okay, so let's go.
Piece of cake. Jeez. <laughs> Street time, pretty early. Hey. You're so impressive. I'm oh, sure you love them, don't you? So I'm just walking Dali off now after his jumping and it was a very, very successful um, training session, I think. So the first few times it was really, really small. We just jumped, um, you know, just to get him used to the actual exercise itself. And he was very, very good to go down at first time. I was tempted to leave them as poles on the ground but then I said no I'll just kind of see what he kind of thinks of it and um, because there's gonna be cases in like competition that he might see something funny and I just want to see would he take it on or would he kind of back off and we'd have to put it down for him but no he was very very good and popped over it first time and then we kept putting it up until um, like I was saying before it became difficult because when it was very small, he was just cantering over it. It meant absolutely nothing to him. He didn't have to try. It wasn't, there was no pressure there to, there was no pressure for him to change the way he jumped into a better technique. So once um, it got to a height that he he had to try, you know, it wasn't just, oh, I just canter over this. Then I just stuck to that height. I don't need to put up after that. Um, yeah, so that's what you have to do. You kind of just have to, try and find the point at which at which you're just pressuring them a little bit but it's obviously you're not over facing them that they can't do it so so we got to that stage and he tried very hard he knocked it and after he knocked it that was like the switch that made him go okay this is getting serious i need to really try here so then he really was jumping very big. He was trying different ways to use his body. Um, the 
some of the last few times he was getting very like a lot of height but he was going a little bit hollow and putting his head up in the air and then the very last time he made a better shape he was round as well as jumping big um, and that's when I left him at that so that's why I jumped it a few times even after he was jumping quite big um, he, although he was jumping high over them it wasn't the technique that I wanted I wanted him to jump, be jumping more round and over his back um, so yeah, that's why I did what I did and I'm very very happy with the results. He was jumping very very good um, I'm excited to see how the schooling goes on Sunday because um, This is really gonna set him up for success there. He I hope he'll be jumping nice and careful He'll be making good shape um, so be sure to subscribe so you can Then see how they go on Sunday. I'll be uploading that video a few days after this one and you can see, did they improve from last week? Is their technique a little bit better? You know, all these kind of things. So yeah, that is how I tr prepare the horses for shows. And um, that's what kind of that's the kind of schooling I do. I don't always do this grid. I do all sorts of different grids, but it is usually gymnastic exercise. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, enjoy seeing the horses jump. I'm delighted with how they jumped especially Dali he's really starting to find his feet he's starting to figure out how to use himself better and just finding a better way to jump because he's so big he finds it quite easy just to canter over them he doesn't feel like he has to jump so it takes a little bit of height to push him to try harder um, so yeah that is what we did today um, so make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think of the exercises and how the two horses did it I love reading all your comments and I really really appreciate them so be sure to leave one down below and yeah and subscribe and everything like that all that good stuff and I will see you in my next video which will be when we go schooling and we jump a little course as if it's a show and yeah we'll see how the horses get on in comparison to last week so thanks so much for watching guys I'll see you next time Bye.